All right, so this is the Epson E T8550. Look like I need to replenish my yellow. I'll probably top it off later on this week. Um, I noticed that they have two styles, a standard, and they have the 13 inch. This is the 13 inch. If you're gonna invest, make sure you get the 13 inch um, and not the standard one. The standard would only print, um, I believe, eight and a half um, paper. So this is the image. And you can tell how crisp, nice, even at standard. The way this stick of paper here takes the image. All right, so now I'm printing the image out on regular uh, paper. And I'm gonna show you the difference in the quality of the paper and why to use high quality uh, photo sticker paper or some type of photo paper when doing this. Okay, so here is the difference. All right, I'm gonna like kind of fold this over so you can see the difference. All right, so it's your event. And if you decide to, you're going to do it yourself, uh, please be sure to get the right paper. And I'm going to also, let me, um, let me prop the camera up so I can use both hands so I can demonstrate some things for you regarding the difference in these papers. All right, so let me demonstrate the difference between these two papers. And what's gonna happen if you decide to laminate and if you do not decide to laminate. So being that I don't have any laminate, I'd be sure to laminate all of my cups, plates, and napkins. I always laminate the stickers. Just because, let's see. You don't want your customer to have direct contact to the ink when they're drinking from out their cups, even from out their plates, or using the napkins to wipe their face. I'm going to detach this. So the customer wanted to break up the image because she said it was too close. All right, so you see how this is the actual sheet. So you see how close they have to be. To save money, when I'm doing it, I put them two together. But if the customer wants to separate it, send them an image with two on there and then send them the separate image with just the one. So I need to also save an image with just the one so she don't have any problems cutting it out, but it's really easy. It's not that hard to cut it out. This is gonna save you money because then once you cut this from this sheet, now you have a whole empty sheet that you could have had something on it. So be sure to cut it together. So it's not really hard, just cut. And listen, I can't walk a straight line, cut a straight line, but it's just this simple. Just cut it away. Okay, now you have two wraps on one sheet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut this one too, because I do want to show you the difference. So I'm gonna cut this one as well. And normally I would just um, laminate both sheets together, both wraps together, but this is for demonstrations only. Now, I also uh, wrap my water bottle labels too. So make sure you wrap those as well. I'm gonna pour some water on this because remember these are cup wraps. These are cup wraps. And when your customer gets to using this wrap, using your wrap cups, and they don't have no type of laminate on it because I don't know, for some reason you just didn't want to put it. I ain't gonna see, say the real reason why. This is what's gonna happen. And let me get a piece of paper because I already know what's gonna happen. Because I don't want to mess up my workstation. 
it's already a mess. Oops, I talked too soon. I couldn't even get it off the, couldn't even get it up in time enough to do this. So, you're asking why should I wrap my cup after printing? Well, I hope this explains it, okay? And then imagine, because I don't know about you, but I waste everything on my shirt when I eat. Like my nephew, he's a golden doodle. He loves when I eat because he'll sit there and he'll wait till I'm finished eating just to eat the food off my shirt. I, ain't, I ask me no story, I tell you no lie, but that is the truth. Now look at this one. This is our photo glossy sticker paper. You did you do you see the same amount of water? Do you see any water coming from this? Let me get a clearer sheet. And not just you don't see You don't see where the ink came off neither, now do you? Okay, you see any ink come from off that paper? No, you did not. But this, I made a total mess. So this is trash. I would not dare, dare send anybody a wrap cup with that paper now if you was like well i can't afford to get the paper and the ink you can ch chance it like this i want but if you just want to take that cheap way out it that's a consideration but i would not do it but if you just want to just print on your own please get the photo sticker paper now another thing so even though it doesn't bleed i still um wrap my cups let's see if we'll put both of them together let's put just put both of them together and right now this laminate is so hard to find because the suppliers are out. So I really wish I should just use those straps that I have because of the shortage of the laminate. But I'm gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna show you all because I said I was gonna do it. I'm gonna show you the right way. And let me see if I can find some tape to tape these two together. All right, I don't know why my regular tape disappeared too, but I'm gonna use this just to tape the back. To just make sure they're together. I'm gonna find my packaging tape. All right, just so that they're together. And then with the laminate, all you do is peel. And expose that sheet. Now, when I put my laminate on, I kind of make sure that I bend it, make sure there's no bends or creases other than that one in the center, and then just put it. And then I just, from the center on out, make sure there's no bubbles. And there is, okay, so there is a little bubble right there. So what I do is, let's crash this. I'll get my craft knife. I like to use a scalpel. And I'll just, a tiny hole, just, and this, just flatten it out. A real tiny hole to get that air out. You don't need to cut it. You don't need to stab it. Just, <laughs> that's a little, little hole to get that out okay when you put in your laminate on a table this here is no type of like paper laminate this is the actual desk if you have like some type of desk that has like a peeling type laminate on it this will peel 
your laminate from your desk. So be sure that, you know, you're not using your expensive table that can be peeled if, you know, the laminate stick to it and you have to bring it up. Bring it up. So I have my images laminated. And then all you have to do is cut. I do have it with a like a border so you can follow that border you can follow that border you can cut that border off it's totally up to you okay so that's the wrap you want to make sure that you cut off all any white um parts you see make sure okay i just i just tore it all right so make sure you lift it right i'm so glad this is just a sample this is a sample so the same thing just cut it if you decide you would like to order this item from us and you apply it to your own cup, we sell these as stickers as well. And it would automatically come laminated. Well, you will have a choice to laminate or not to laminate. So you will have a choice because we do have those options. And it will automatically be printed on photo sticker paper, not regular copy paper they are printed on sticker paper and they will come already pre-scored and i'll show you what pre-scoring pre-scoring is okay now if you decide i'm gonna put this one aside now if you decide okay i want to do it myself laminate it because now when you are your customer or your guest miss round and pour some water, get some water. When they drink in the water, uh, miss their whole mouth and get onto the cup. Now there isn't any ink dropping from it. Let's see. So see, there is, I left that exposed. So you will see a little, but it's not coming from that laminate. I guarantee you. It's coming from this piece here that did not get the laminate. So I'm not going to do that, nothing with that anymore. Like, I'm finished with that one because I'm, like, totally messing up, messing up my table with that. Um, yeah, one more thing. This doesn't have the, uh, the sticker paper. It's not sticker paper. So you're going to have to use some type of glue. I can't, I'm not going to even recommend what kind because I don't use it. So I don't, I don't know what would work for it because I've always used a stick of paper. So it, it you're going to have to kind of figure that one out for yourself. I'm sorry to say it, but I don't want to suggest anything and I'm not familiar with it. What I do is at least a half an inch you don't want to go too big because it'll it'll uh crumple up your label when you're putting it on it'll crumple the wrap so just maybe a half an inch you want to score it you don't want to cut it you don't want to cut through the wrap you just want to score it and you want to do both ends just score it and then what I do is, your wrap would already come pre-scored. I already scored for you. But what you want to do is, you want to just take that piece off. And my scapular could probably need replacing. But if you have to do it like that, that's better than having to cut through it. And you just want to pre-score it and take those ends off. And I'm gonna show you also why you wanna do this method if you're printing yourself on sticker paper. 
why you want to do this method. All right, these are nine ounce cups. These are not the 12 ounce cups like Walmart sell. This is for the nine ounce, ounce label only. Um, I will do a template for the 12 ounce. I just don't have it yet, but I will do a template for the 12 ounce cup if you want a larger cup. So you will see some, the indents, like where the actual cup meets. So what I do I, from the left side, I start from the left side and I go just a little past, not even a half an inch past, just a little past that, that line where the original cup meets. And then I place it and then I start wrapping, wrap around. Okay, wrap around. And then with this black line, I could have um, probably cut off that black line. And you wanna try to put it at an angle because you don't wanna really get up under that cup right away. You wanna wrap it around. Can you see that? And then once you get to that end, the edge, you just place it and flatten it. Okay. And then you see how she meets in the back. And I think I still kind of cut it too, too much on that edge, but see how she meets in the back. I could have, um, I think next time just cut the black line that border that guideline just cut that because it's um it's overlapping it just a little bit let me see if you can see yeah so you have to kind of measure and figure your cups if your cup overlaps like that a little bit cut that black line well anyway that's how you do your wrap cup and I'm happy with how that design came out. So I will be sending her this. I will be sending her that, that final. I don't have to make no changes to it because it came out perfect. Now I'm gonna show you why you do not want to um, cut the whole, like peel the whole backing label from your wrap. I'm gonna show you right now why you don't wanna do that. All right, so I did cut the border off of this one. So I'm gonna suggest um, once they come in, you know, cut the border. So that your image, your when you do your wrap, it's not buckling on you. All right. And I use that border for a guide for you to cut. So you don't have any problem, especially if you're sending a light picture with a white background, you wouldn't be able to determine how that wrap begins. And so this is why I put a border so you know exactly where to cut. All right, so if you peel this whole sticker uh, backing off, this is what's going to happen. So you put your label on. And then you start to go around with it. And you like, dang, I'm not even, I'm on the edge of that cup. See how you're on the edge? Now you like, okay, I need to backtrack because all this up in here, it's um uh, it's buckling you see how it's buckling now you want to try to correct it and look i'm pulling i'm really oh see what's going to happen and now when you try to 
recorrect it. Now you you got a wrap cup, but you have a damaged damaged right cup. And there's no correcting that. Once you um get it started and it's not where you want it to be. And then you just wasted a whole wrap that's not cheap and you wasted a whole cup. You don't want to want to send a cup out like that. That's a no-go. So this is why you only um, cut a half an inch from the ends and put it. That will stay. All you got to do is like just rub it down and reinforce the glue on it. And that's it. Do not peel the whole label off. You're going to mess up your cup. You're going to mess up your wrap. All right. I am Nikki from MyEFavors.com. If you're watching this video through YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because we also do custom cups, um, custom plates and napkins as well. We do a complete, complete set. And I don't have anything here to show you. I will post some photos of it. But yeah. All right. If you need some wraps, check out the uh, description box. And we'll have a link to where you can find our custom wrap cup set. All right. Until the next video. See ya.